There we go. Oh, another one. Oh, shoot, France. Lithuania. Oh, no. I think I might have to decline this one. What are you declining? Um, there's a call to arms from Polisk, and they're going to pull in uh, Lithuania, France, and Poland. And I'm hitting Pomeranian right now, so I don't really want to grab any more war. Let's see. Well, let's, who are they at war with? Lithuania, Poland, and France. So I don't really want to bite that. No, probably time. not. So I'll take the prestige hit and ignore that battle. My, uh... One of my guys died. One of your generals? Or your advisors? Yeah, my uh, morale of armies advisor died. Okay. So I replaced him with an inflama inflammation. Inflation, yeah, an inflammation reduction advisor. Um, <laughs> Some preparation H there? Yeah. And uh, so now I'm only spending 0.8 ducats a month because I'm not paying for my military very much. I had... Until Go ahead. Until this truce comes up to expire. I had Lubeck join the war just so they could beat up Lomberg for me, as they're doing right now. But you will be, I'm sure, I'm, uh, very displeased if Lubeck takes Lomberg, right? Because you don't have to march up there and beat them up. Actually, I'll appreciate it because then I'll have to march up there and beat them up and it will give me another 10% Imperial authority. Oh, yes. Oh, well. I'm kind of hoping that Lubeck will... Well, I think I have to uh, grant them it, right? At the On the peace reparation? Probably. And then, will they take infamy or me? You'll take infamy. Oh, I don't want that. I don't want any more infamy. I've already got uh, ten. And I'm going to be taking three province, or two provinces and releasing one, uh, Mizobia, as its own. So I'm going to be getting eight from this alone. Oh shit, I didn't even notice that you were raffle stumping Pomerania. Yep, I absolutely am. But I'm leaving Hinterlands and to the west of that alone. I'm just taking Danzig into the east, and Mazovia is going to be released. Oh, Lomberg has been taken over. Uh, it's actually occupied by you. Oh, really? Oh, so maybe since Are they're... Are they your vassal? Uh, yeah, no. they're your vassal, that's why it's by oh, you. They're a va yes, Lubeck's my vassal. Uh, L Lomberg is a vassal of Pomeranian, so I actually could release that vassalage. But that's not going to help you, though. No. I think it's because, yeah, Lubeck is my vassal. If they weren't my vassal but they were allied, then they would take them. Like they would, uh, it would say that they had occupied them, right? Yep. All right, all this is 100%, almost 100%. I wouldn't mind taking out Riga, but we're too far away. Oh, it looks like, uh, actually, I could let uh, the Hansa take them out. The Hansa's beating up Riga right now. <laughs> I could get, get some money out of them. I could, I wonder, can I have a vassal occupy another nation and then vassalize it for me? So, uh, yes. So I could vassalize Riga and I hadn't, I've never walked over there. Yes. That would be pretty as awesome. As long as it's a vassal of yours that does it. Yep. That would be pretty awesome. Who else am I at war with? Uh, oh, Sicily. Uh, it's, I'm not going to go down there. Actually, I can't even really get down there. It would take too long. Oh, I'm going to be having too much infamy here. If I uh, vassalize Riga, I guess that's only four. So I'm still going to get hit by 12. I'm down to 18.6. I can't wait, and I'm sure you can't wait either, to get uh, that one idea that gives you um, 
the Minus cabinet. Minus one infamy, yeah, the cabinet. Yeah, but it's like... It's far like down 32 there. 32. Yeah. Or 50 or something like that. Government tech, like, 80 bajillion. So what uh, what YouTube episode would that be? Like, 80? <laughs> something like that. <laughs> 160 for me because freaking YouTube is a bunch of douchebags. Still won't get to my for 15 minutes. Oh, really? Yeah, well, it was just a matter of time for me, so it, it must be, it'd just be a matter of time. Like, how old's your YouTube channel? Oh, well, the YouTube channel itself is freaking ancient, but I've only actually been using it for posting videos. Okay. And there, France got the uh, thing to get a, got to press the issue for French Pompa. Gonna end up at war with Brizance again. I wonder if I should wait to for Riga to get taken over. I think I will because I want to vassalize them. Excommunication! No, no. Oh. Against Normandy and Castile. All is spying. Castile. On me. Uh, oh, Normandy is a person. Alm is still spying on me. They're gonna get a good whooping in a minute. You have gained a you annoying bastards as yeah. belly against Alm. <laughs> Friggin' Alm. Yeah. Land technology has increased. It's just like what I was saying before about little dinky nations spying on big ones and pissing them off. Okay, come on. Oh, England. I wonder if I can get through England here. Unlikely. Oh, alright, I got it. Okay, I'm going to go hit Riga. You have expiring... Oh, I can... I have a discovered spy uh, thing on home, but... There's no point. They don't have any money. Oh, I could. I guess I could do that spy thingy. Spy ring. 1%? 1% success? What is going on here? Against Dalm? Yeah, what is up with that? Because they in probably infiltrated your spy ring? Oh. Can I infiltrate no, their I only have 1% as well. Uh, <laughs> let's see, our efficiency 10%, their efficiency minus 1%. Our defense. Oh, because their defense is huge. Oh, okay. Uh, stop looking at the sky. I was going to ask if I can infiltrate their, their infiltration into my spy ring. Probably not, though. Like, can, is there any way to block that or remove it? Um, you can get it. There's an advisor that... Reduces. That gives you defense. Yeah, that gives you defense, and that makes it so they won't succeed as often. Holy crap. And if you infiltrate their spy ring, it makes it cost more for them. I've got, uh... 760 bucks. What am I supposed to do with it? I guess I could just build a whole bunch of buildings. Might as well. Hey, Alm would like a royal marriage. Oh, never mind. That's Ferreira. <laughs> Stupid Alm. Alm is going to get it. Someday. No, not Cog. Not Cog. Not Cog. Wonder how the COTs are. Are they still really bad? Oh, Novgorod. Oh, but they have a crappy market. Okay, Lubeck is fifty percent. It only cost me four bucks now, and it's fifty percent. Let me try that. There's no benefits of having your own COT in terms of competing, is there? I don't think so. I've never heard of that. Don't know. Eleven. Nine. Shit, they have better boats. How is the boat building uh, stuff with Venice? Um, I'm working on getting up to... Oh, fucking A, I built 10 cogs for the military. 
Yeah, I just saw that. That's you'll need them eventually. What's yeah, your uh, naval support limit? Uh, way less than I have in navy. Okay. Uh, my naval support limit is twelve, and currently I have thirty. Yeah. Yeah, that gets that's. I guess it's always sort of low. You have to just build a shitload of those docks and dry docks and whatever. I don't know if there's an. Uh, is there an idea for that? Ship. Yeah. Uh, I know there is for land. Yeah, it's like Seahawks or something. I guess I should be building military. Oh, I did get a march. I wonder where I should build that. I haven't bothered to build those at all. Let's see. It gives me manpower and defense. Costs 500 bucks. It's expensive. Probably not and worth it. I don't it. really think it's worth it. Yeah. But then again, I have 115,000 manpower. And my support limit is 270. Or 150 if it weren't for the bonus for the state that I'm on that Yeah, it's still pretty good. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. France and England are going at it. Good. <laughs> I hope Castile is the friendly giant. They're usually not that bad. But they've certainly swallowed most of Portugal, which does happen. Although I, I have seen the opposite, which is also pretty weird. But that's when Aragon's still around. So I have to wait until Here we go. December. Okay, I'm done the war, so... Now I need some recommendations. I wonder if, uh, if I'm going to vassalize Riga. I'm going to grab Danzig and Warmia and release Mazovia. And Lom Lomberg is going to be released or unvassalized. That's my plan. Oh. See if you can afford it all. Oh, do they? Uh, oh, I've got to grab. Oh, I can't. Oh, they have uh, Adger at the top there. I don't, oh, well. I, I guess I could go and get it because... They're not going to have any boats. Uh, the Hansa is whooping know if everybody. It's really worth it to you, though. Well, let's see what that all costs. What I just said. <laughs> okay, so we're going to vassalize, demand tribute. We're going to vassalize. That's going to cost me four. I'm going to vassalize Riga, and they're going to pay me some money. They're going to pay me twenty-five bucks, and they're going to dump some cores. And this one. Okay, rig is done. Okay, next thing. Next thing is Lomberg. Oh, I can't touch Lomberg. Okay, next thing is Pomeranian. Okay. So I'm taking Danzig and Warmia. I am releasing Mazovia. Oh, the Teutonic Order, eh? Oh, no. Teutonic Order is not being released. And they're going to cancel uh, Sox Lomberg. Oh, they won't do that. Okay, I'm going to march up there and hit them in Norway. Oh, I'm going to need a shitload of... Can I get through your territory? Maybe. Come on, Holstein! Damn it! I don't think that's going to be worth it. I'm, I don't know. I'm going to have to use like five diplomats just to get up there. I need Denmark. I need Holstein. England I already have. Norway, I'll need. And they need to not park one boat in the Orison. Well, um, Lubeck, oh, the Hansa's got a huge navy and they've been killing their stuff. So that's not the issue. It's just getting the stupid, uh, whatever it's called. I need Norway. Oh, I hope Castile doesn't eat me for that. Because they're their they're, uh, sphere of influence or whatever. Okay, I need Denmark. Okay, so it's just Holstein that was being annoying. Okay. It's, uh... Oh, I suppose I still gotta get there. Can I even get to Holstein? Oh no, I can't. Mecklenburg, let me through. Oh, I can't get through Mecklenburg. 
I can't get through Lubeck. What's the problem then? Why can't I march through Lubeck? Oh, there. Okay. Never mind. Okay. I just need Holstein to let me through. It's too bad I can't use uh, Lubeck's boats. Can you do that? If you had boats, could I put troops no. on your boats? No. Sadly, no. Kick up speed. Oh, <laughs> guess who's hitting... Got... Guess who's hitting Mark. Pomeranian for me in Norway? <laughs> Lubeck's going there right now. That saves me doing it. <laughs> All right, kick ass. I'll just sit back and let this continue. Man, Lubeck and their navy has been just amazing up here. By the way, uh, Britain has 48 uh, navy. Yeah, that that means that they actually lost a couple. They start with forty, with like thirty or forty. Yeah, you think they'd be building some too? Well, they were shattered for most of the game, and then they reconnected, and then they got smacked around again. Well, they're still got little pieces out of them. Yeah, it would be pretty neat to land there and release Scotland and leave them in a in a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Release Scotland, release. Um, yeah. They've got another one here somewhere, I think. I think Brittany should be out. I think that's pretty annoying, France taking out Brittany. And they took Brittany's Barry. still there. Brittany's there in Vendee. Oh, well. They don't have all their pieces. And uh, they took Barry, didn't they? They took Barry. All right, come on, the Hansa, let's go. Wipe out uh, Adger there. Geez, Spain is all up in Sweden. You think Sweden would be able to contend with that? But I guess not. I don't even think I need to raise the military pay. For you mean, well, isn't that hitting the morale? Yeah, but they've got a combined total of 8,000 troops. I'm getting a much bigger military. Money seems to be pretty good for me right now. I think it's maybe the COT, but it was even before that money's been better. I don't really know why. Will expire December 16th. Norway, Brittany, and Utrecht. They're guaranteed by Provence. Oh man. Did our relations go down? What, what are we at here? Oh, how did we get to 47? Was it our competing infamies? <laughs> uh, yeah, it was our competing infamies, and also because we had a royal marriage when I made a claim on the throne of Flanders. Okay. How much does it cost for you to send me money? Uh, 50 bucks. Are you sure this time? Because last time you said like 52 and then it became 45. 48.1 right now. Okay, well, let's do that. You have diplomats, extra ones? Yeah, I got a ton of them. Okay. Another round. One more round when uh, I guess the timer expires. I got another mission to get to drop an infamy if we have 150, so. Rank up. Military. We have learned about oh, yeah. the Middle places. East existence. Oh, was it? Yeah. Damn. That was... Um, a oh, large yes. chunk of the north of the boot. Yemen and all that stuff. Okay, one more time when when it's available. Um, can you knock it back down a minute? The one, just the, or not the one, but the three. Just knock it down. 
Okay. Uh, so I need some money. Okay. Okay, great. Oh, what's happening? You there. I'm vassalizing Burgundy. Okay. You there. Province, Brittany, Norway. Yeah. Oh, good, we're done. Um, Pomerania has been taken. Oh, God, over. England is involved now. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, I need a diplomat. Okay, never mind. I'll put the speed back up. So I need to wait on diplomat. England is what? Attacking you? Yeah, now Novgorod. No, cascading alliances for the loss. <laughs> well, I don't think they'll be a match to the HRE. At this point, I think you're pretty solidly whooping everyone. Yeah, but now I'm up against everyone. Uh, the second Austrian subjugation of Burgundy. The war is against England, Province of Provence, Burgundy, Norway, Brittany, Utrecht, Boy, and Novgorod. Granted, the majority of those people cannot get to me. Yeah. But that's still really tedious. You go ahead and solve that. What? No, 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 no. Can I, like, embrace the Counter-Reformation or something? Are you getting hit with Protestant stuff? Yeah. Uh, get the Commendable Act. That. I wonder how long I can just hold Pomeranian occupied like this. Peace a while. and tribute force pacification. There. And revoke your cores on every tank. Revoke your cores on every tank. Okay, eight infamy is oh some money. Oh, they only have twenty-five bucks. Oh, oh, they have more money. Oh, fifty. Oh, seventy-five bucks. Okay, so I am. Mazovia. We have gained the restoration of Union Castelli against Bohemia. Bohemia must accept Austrian overlordship. Okay. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh so. God! Oh God! What happened? What is going on here? The world is fucking falling apart in because <laughs> of the Reformation right now. Oh come on! Intolerable. What's Who the big is deal? It that just was it? Was it Lubeck? What? That did what? Yeah, yeah. That that yeah. I saw the thing come up for Lubeck. Yeah. Why? Um, because I have to start enforcing cultural. Religious map mode. Are they the only ones so far? That I've seen, yeah. You're not vassalizing Pomerania, correct? No. I just grabbed a couple pieces out of them. Which is all finished, by the way. So you can take a look at the ramifications. I have no imperial authority. Oh my god. You don't? No, they just... My imperial authority just got completely drained because Pomerania and Monta switched... Switched. Oh. What is. What the hell? Okay, hold on. Diplomatic insult. Yeah, somebody. Bavaria. Oh, wow. Or I can get like a crap load of relation increases. Bavaria? I don't care about Bavaria. I'll just take the. Uh... I got like plus 60 to like everyone. Yeah. Alright, kick ass. Guess um. I finished a mission. Conquer Lublin. Where the heck is Lublin? Oh, Poland. Oh, that's easy. All right, cool. Was that did that was infamy loss? Oh no, gain core. Okay. Okay, so you're saying that because Lubeck did they switch religion? Yes, they switched. To... Oh dear, Protestant. Yep, yeah. and Hinterlands is a Protestant. So that pisses off the HRE. I yeah, guess. because the Holy Roman Empire should be Catholic. I see. Isn't there some uh, something that happens if the HRE isn't? Or maybe that was the Pope. No, you can't be the Holy Roman Emperor and be anything but Catholic. I think if the Pope is a different religion, there's something that happens, or you get like one of those bonuses, one of those effects, what are they called? Triggered modifiers. 
Yeah, something else that maybe uh, people that are watching might not know, if you click on the triggered modifier button, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can try to get, like the East Indian trade route and uh, the sound toll, which is this, uh, in Denmark here, this area. And so there's all kinds of stuff. And you can try to conquer, um, where was it? It was Rome and Jer Jerusalem, which is here, and Mecca. Where is this triggered modifiers button? It's uh, far on the right, just under Papacy. And there's a whole bunch of stuff you can try to get. Oh, hey, look at that. And the, uh, the heaven, mandate of heaven, that stuff is for China. So, if you ever play as China, or Manchu, or Ming, then you try to form the Celestial Empire. And that's what that part is. But everything else is for the, pretty much for the West. I never even knew that this damn thing was here. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Like, for example, you could go grab Rome, and if you go grab Rome, you'll have missionary increase and the prestige increase there. Which one is that? The conquest oh, of the Rome. Oh, the conquest of Rome. Yeah. Yeah, except you need to not be Catholic. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't even know that was there. Okay. Um, I'm about to prep for polarity. Another what? Prep for another war. Okay. I thought you were into any wars right now. Um, I'm in a war with England. people that apparently aren't coming anywhere near me. Yeah. I don't even think England will come by. I don't think they can get there. And even if they did, I'm sure you could squash whatever they bring in their boats. Landers is beating on my vassal. Yeah, Flanders has some troops there. They got 27 troops sitting there. Look out. So what are you supposed to do about the, um, the religious stuff? Like, would you have to, like, I guess you would, uh, you would beat them up and then you would say force religion? Uh, yeah, you, you, you if you have an imperial thingy, integrity, whatever it is, authority, you can demand that people enforce religious unity, and if they say no, then you get a casus belli on them uh, to enforce their religion. Okay. Holy okay, crap. Domadia, declare war, suffocation. I can start building boats in 50 years. You wait. Isn't that awesome? 50 years, I can start building boats. <laughs> so it's like right around the corner then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Maybe in 2012. By the time we get to. 1550. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, the Ottomans. Who are they attacking? Can you turn that down to three, please? Who are the Ottomans 